Welcome to Zen with Gwen Meditation Sessions. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn. This will be a variation on a loving-kindness meditation with a heart visualization. It can be done in any position. It's often done sitting up tall. You may like to sit on a cushion or in a comfy chair. But it can also be done lying back. If you're a fan of restorative yoga, you may even like to do it in a supported heart opener. Whatever position you choose, make sure you can be comfortable yet alert for our session together. Take a moment now to find that position and feel it in your body. Noticing how everything feels from the top of your head to the tips of your fingers and toes. Front of the body, back of the body, sides of the body, the superficial layers of your skin deep into your core. Noticing any physical sensations that come up, any comfort or discomfort, feelings of tension or looseness. Sensations of temperature or even noticing any areas of the body that you have difficulty creating a mind-body connection. And now let's bring awareness to heart center. This is the space between the sternum or breastbone and the spine. Noticing any physical sensations in and around that area and the rib cage. And you may even notice that feelings of tension or lightness in the heart are actually felt in the shoulders or stomach maybe even in the throat or back. And we'll bring awareness to the emotional heart, noticing any emotions or feelings that come up for you here. And now bringing awareness to the powers of the heart chakra, our ability to give and receive love. Also our feelings of sadness, grief, romantic love, and joy. Tuning in here with what that means to you. And finally, bringing awareness to the physical heart. You may like to place a hand on top of your physical heart, seeing if you can feel your heartbeat. You may like to notice if you can feel your heart rate, or you may even like to check if you're wearing a watch with a heart rate monitor. And none of this is any sort of evaluation. It's all just information, ways to better tune in mind and body.
Before we begin our loving kindness meditation, you may like to set an intention for your time here. We'll start by sending loving kindness to ourselves. Another opportunity to place hand over heart and we'll send ourselves loving kind phrases. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be free. May I know tranquil moments of rest. May I be safe and cared for. May I be loved and protected. May I know joy and laughter. May I live life to the fullest. Stay with these thoughts for a minute here, repeating phrases to yourself that feel like a good fit. Picturing here that you have a candle burning in your heart. This is your own personal light that shines out into the world. Sending love and light and all of your best qualities out into your community and spreading ripples out into the furthest reaches of the world. And we'll send that love out first by bringing to mind someone who it's easy for you to feel warm, affectionate feelings towards. Again, we offer these loving, kind phrases. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free. May you have tranquil, relaxing moments. May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter. May you live life to the fullest. Staying with these phrases for a minute here, repeating ones that feel like a good fit for your candle.
thinking about everyone you know who loves and supports you, the people who are really in your corner when you need them. You don't have to specifically picture everyone's face, but call to mind that feeling of being supported by some people in your life, in your community. Repeating phrases that feel like a good fit. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free. May you have tranquil moments of relaxation. May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter. May you live life to the fullest. You may come up with your own phrases to repeat. Now bringing to mind all of the people in your greater community, most of whom you don't know. Sending these same well wishes to those strangers and the people that you do know. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be free. May you have tranquil, relaxing moments. May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter. May you live life to the fullest. Now bringing to mind a neutral person. So someone you know, but don't really know that well. So maybe a face that you recognize, but you don't even know the person's name. Someone who you may wave to on your street or in your workplace. And we offer these same phrases. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free. May you have tranquil moments of relaxation.
May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter. May you live life to the fullest. You may come up with your own phrases to repeat. Now thinking of someone who it's much more difficult for you to express these well wishes towards. There's no need to pick the most difficult person in your life, but by choosing someone for whom these feelings do not naturally flow, we practice opening our hearts and building compassion, remembering that all people on earth are equally deserving of a high quality life. Holding this person in your heart, your candle stays lit, and we offer up the same phrases. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be free. May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter. May you live life to the fullest. now bringing to mind someone who you may think of as having much less light in their heart. Imagine that here you could use the candle in your heart to light theirs, knowing that by lighting someone else's candle, yours will not burn any less brightly. You can share your flame without dimming your own. And in return, you receive their light. And we repeat the same caring phrases for this person. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free. May you have tranquil moments of relaxation. May you be safe and protected. May you know joy and laughter.
May you live life to the fullest. And finally, let's bring into our minds every human and living creature on this planet. And we repeat the same well wishes. May all beings everywhere be happy, peaceful, and free. May all beings everywhere know tranquil moments and relaxation. May all beings everywhere feel safe and protected. May all beings everywhere know joy and laughter. May all beings everywhere live life to the fullest. I'll offer to you one of my favorite mantras to repeat to yourself. You may prefer to repeat the Sanskrit or the English translation. Loka somasta sukino bhavantu, which is usually translated as, may all beings be happy and free, and may my own thoughts, words, and actions somehow contribute to that. Loka somasta sukino bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may my actions in this life somehow contribute to that. And let's come back to that candle in your heart. Imagining that with every inhale, your heart flame is able to grow. A little bit more with each breath in. Allowing this bright light to expand to touch those you know and create ripples touching the people that they know and the people that they know until the whole world has experienced the light of your heart. This is your superpower.
Thank you so much for sharing your light with the world. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. As always, from my light to yours, namaste.